Uh, hi there everyone, uh, my name's Chris and uh, here I just want to share something with you today um, I'm making some steel brackets um, for my uh, carport that I'm building um, I'm fabricating everything myself out of galv box section um, I'm using a MIG welder with flux cord wire um, but as you can see compared to the gas it's a lot messier um, whereas you know welding with the gas it's a lot cleaner um, but it's good enough for what I need at the moment and normally what I would do to clean this is use a wire brush just a hand a hand wire brush and give it a good scrub to clean off all the uh, all the um, the crap from the welding and um, another way of doing it is using a wire brush on a drill or a wire brush on a grinder um, but I've just thought of something that I saw um, at the automotive shop they've got these um, handheld uh, sandblasting gun things and I watched a few reviews on YouTube um, that people have used from Home Depot it looks similar to this but I think um, it's really good because it's good for small sort of jobs. Um, I wouldn't go sandblasting a whole car. I mean, you know, you'd have the bigger equipment for that. But some people do with uh, make do with what they've got. Uh, so I bought this, and um, at the moment, because I have a bit of experience in sandblasting and stuff, working on the Land Rovers and that, used to use bicarbonate soda. So it's soft on the aluminium. This is a little water filter here to catch all the water. So at the moment, um, yeah, I've had a bit of a crack at it with the bicarbonate soda. I've got garnet as well, which I'll try. And it seems to do a good job, the, the soda. So we'll see what happens. I'll give you a demo in a minute. Um, but yeah, instead of me having to sit there and scrub by hand why not just do it with this and I went down to the local shop for a dollar seventy nine half a kilo which is pretty good and uh, the most essential bit doing any sort of sandblasting is to have the safety equipment too because you don't want this stuff going in your lungs same goes for sandblasting any of the silica it's uh, long term exposure can really fix you up pretty badly you can get real sick from it so I've got a big visor there a pair of uh, safety glasses and a dust mask I've got a spray painter's mask but uh, the dust mask should be fine um, and that's pretty much the essentials what you need these are vital they are very important tools to have um, you don't want to expose yourself to, you know, um, any of the dangerous uh, dusts or small particles in the air. Okay, so in a sec, we'll uh, get this uh, set up and I'll give you a demo with the bicarbonate soda, cleaning the welds. So that's actually what I'm using it for, to clean the welds. And then we'll try a bit of garnet. Um, and we'll see how we go with that. Okay, so that was the um, the bicarbonate soda which I bought from the shop, which is that one there. That one, bicarbonate soda. So we just tried that. You've seen um, it just took off the layer lightly, a bit of the flux, 
and um, a bit of a slag, sorry. And now I've got this one, which is the the grit, sandblasting grit. So we'll see how we go. And um, we'll try this one. So I'm assuming it'll take more off. Yeah. I didn't buy a big bucket of it because I only needed a little amount. So, yeah. And uh, on your sandblasting gun, on your sandblasting gun here, where it's uh, got the on and off, this little dial, you can adjust how much sand or, or your medium, you can adjust how much medium to, to release from the gun. So I've got it just barely open, so it's spitting out just a little bit of medium. You don't want to have it open too much because it'll just be wasting. So that's much better. As you can see, that's pretty much cleaned it right off. Which is pretty good actually. As you can see there, the, um, the sand or the garnet um, is much stronger than the soda blasting, but it saves me from having to use a wire brush, so it's pretty good, pretty happy with that.
So that's pretty much it. I'm really happy with that. Um, it was worth the little investment. And uh, that's just another way of cleaning um, your welding when you're using flux cord wire. Get one of these little sandblasting guns and try the, uh, the garnet sand. Bicarbonate sodas, it works but doesn't take as much off. But I just wanted to try it to see what it's like. And make sure you have all the safety gear too. It's very important. So make sure you've got your visor, safety glasses, and most important, your dust mask. Oh well, use dust mask. <laughs> there you go. Until then, I'll see you next time.